this for? Make you really feel small, humble. A lot of time we're so busy with our work, daily day out, and before you goes to bed, you don't even know what's happening whole day. What what have you done? What have you do? Well, take my advice: travel, spend time with your family, see the world. The world is such a big place to see. National Park is about two-hour drive. You you know you gotta stop for the Kona coffee when that's what this island famous of, right? I'm stopping by this uh, at Southern Tips a coffee shop. You can turn around, see all the coffee tree back there. Are you guys thirsty now? I am ready for iced coffee. Let's go. A lot of coffee shops are closed on Sunday. Today is Monday, so we're lucky. If we come yesterday, they will be closed. Let's go. Right here, you can get some brownie or chocolate. Wow, look at this! Very good. Wow, this is the dark one. Okay, all the dark that really, our they even show you the coffee they have back there. Or dark, um, it's like a medium dark by itself, good taste. And we're making a dark red aquila now if anybody want to taste the coffee. Aloha everyone, welcome to Miranda's Coffee Farm. This is uh, the, the coffee shop we have in uh, uh, by Ma Malahoa Highway. And what is your specialty? We have a red catuai, yellow catura, typica, and we grow all the coffees, award-winning coffee. Wow. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to the coffee farm right outside to see what she's talking about. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy the coffee now. Thank you. They also gave me some coffee samples to try. It's right fresh root. All the farm over there is so awesome. It's really good coffee. All right, thank you. Aloha. Thank you so much. They also have this really nice patio here. It's a really good pit stop if you want to uh, stop before you go to the Volcano National Park. It is a two hour drive. And who's in the rush in Kono anyway? It's really cute uh, farm. You guys hear that? There's a cow right there. I'm gonna go check it out. But not before I taste my latte. Whoa. I have the um, macadamia nuts latte. It is delicious. What can I say?
right now we switch the driver give me a little break guys if you ever drive down to uh, the Cano National Park make sure you stop by the Miranda's coffee farm that is so good I have macadamia coffee and the macadamia queen of milk it tastes so fresh just like the island and I love Kono coffee because they give you a little burn taste maybe because the Makino soya whatever give you a little burn smoky flavor to it the bite just linger in your mouth it just very uh, you, you can't get that anywhere else but right here on the big island all right so we're about 20 minutes from the uh, National Volcano uh, Park right now I'm gonna get my gym shoes on and ready to hike make sure you get up early because it is take you if you want to stop by somewhere and along the way before the park it is gonna take you up to maybe uh, three hours so get up early Well, the park entrance is $30 per car, and if you are active military, thank you for your service. Your entrance fee is free. If you have, we just pay for $30 to enter the national park, and this receipt, keep it, because it's good for seven days. If you want to come back over and over, do more multiple hiking, you can come back next seven days. Pacific Coast Highway. So it's a beautiful road. There's plenty of things to do along the way. I want to caution you. It's going to be warmer down there. It's going to be 85 degrees down there. And it'll be, uh, and so if you make sure you take water with you and any food you want to eat, because there's not, once you make a left hand turn, go, or once you pass by it, there's, there's nothing down there. So we do have a water fill up right behind here. The only place you can purchase stuff is across at the Volcano House. All right, that's good cheeseburger and pizza over there. Or you can go outside to Volcano Village, but make sure you have everything with you. It's going to be much warmer. There is a ranger program if you're interested down to Petroglyphs at 1.30. Uh, so at seven tenths of a mile in, seven tenths of a mile out. But when you get all the way down, make sure you go out to the Sea Arch. Okay, the road stops here. The road used to go all the way through, but the volcano decided that Pele, who lives in the volcano, decided she didn't want the roots down there, so she covered the road up. Okay? Wow. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Hey guys, they do have a visitor center. Make sure you stop by. Very helpful tips. They help you printing out the date. If you only want to spend a couple hours, a four hour day is different route for it. Make sure you stop by, listen to the um, very helpful suggestions playing out the day. Let's go in there, see what they have. you see a lot of signage say do not feed Nana and Nana Crossing. I was wondering what is that? This is it. Hopefully we get to see one today. So after the visitor center you turn right and you get to the first stop. It's an overlook for the crater. Whoa guys once I turn it you guys are gonna be shocked. This is a real crater. I'm gonna walk a little bit close so you can see it. Holy moly. There is a smoke coming up on the crater. I guess this is an active volcano, right? Whoa. I am speechless. This is just, whoa. If you guys ever been to a hot spring, you smell the shovel, this is that smell. It's not overpowering, but you can smell it. Ooh, beautiful flower. This is amazing. 
Oh my God. This is amazing. The cradle behind me erupts in 2018 and recently, and I'm standing right here. Whoa. <laughs> Helicopter flying over the next couple of hours, and we're, we're putting out almost 2,000 of these little seismic sensors. We're doing a big experiment. So you're going to see a helicopter flying around the summit here. It'll be landing, dropping off some of our crews. They're going to be putting out some of these instruments and then flying to the next one. So, you know, you'll, you'll see like the tourist helicopters stay up, but we're going to be actually, you're going to see a helicopter landing down here and going back. And Was that's it the blue one? It's blue and silver. Yeah. Well, yeah. Seen yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that one you'll see down low. So it's actually dropping people off and then we're going out, putting out instruments and they'll stay out there for a couple of months. Well, there's some people down there now. Yep. Yep. Well, what's the temperature down there? Um, well, there's no lava right now, mm -hmm. um, so it's a little hotter down there. You don't get as much water. Um, and also, it just gets really hot on the black rocks. Um, so it's probably you know 10, 20 degrees hotter than it is here. But, cool. But not too bad. But when the rain comes and the wind comes, then it can actually get pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you. So yeah, certainly. Yeah. There was this guy who works there. Oh, I don't think he works there. He's a Scientologist. They were doing some kind of study there, and he's very knowledgeable. Um, help us understand this cradle a little bit more. There is a lot of smart people in the world. U.S. Jesus. That's. There's something I always want to do in my bucket list: is touch a volcano rock. Look at this. I'm wrapping it. Oh my God, have you ever touched a volcano rock? I know I did. Check it out. Can you believe this part used to be old label up? Since they eclipse, they sink down and all the smoke coming out. Wow. Along the stop one, there is a, a lot of trail you can walk to, and there's no uh, stop sign, so I guess there's nothing can stop me now but walk. But walk with cautious, because you can see there is a lot of rock. Well, so look at this. You have to be careful. It is the active volcano. Things can fall anytime. I don't think I'm going to risk my life standing on that rock, but this is an amazing view right here. We had a second stop, sting bent. Right behind me, you can see all this thing coming out. I'm surprised the smell is not as strong. Whoa, now I can smell it. It's quite hot here. I don't know if it's from the sun or it's from the steam coming out. There's some water on the bottom too. People, this is not wishing well. Stop throwing the coin in there. Your wish will not come true. If you ever come to Volcano Park, I do suggest you start with the stop one, two, three, and stop by the Volcano House for lunch before you hit four, five, six. Just a little tips, and the view of Volcano House is amazing. I'm gonna show you a little bit, but up past this point, there's no food. You're on your own, so make sure you stop by. Alright, we just 
sit down at the corner house. This is really nice view. I really highly suggest you come here for lunch. Lunch, I mean, with the impression everywhere is the same. A burger is about $19.99. Yeah, you do have some flatbread, pizza, pasta. Uh, I would say the pizza is about ooh, uh, $28, from anywhere from $25 to $28 for the pizza. They do have a cocktail bar here if you want. I think I'm just gonna have some burger and some salad, maybe a beer. Doesn't hurt. Now we got our meals. This pretty big burger. Yeah, I got some ahi tuna with sesame soyo and all that. Look at the, how big the burger is. Now we're gonna enjoy this and soaking the view. We just finished the lunch at the Vecano house. You guys saw the size of the burger, that was huge. Uh, I would totally suggest that if uh, two people can share one burger, the pizza size is huge too. So um, if you're not that hungry, maybe two people can share one. I thought the price was re really reasonable. The food quality actually is pretty good. It's better than what we had at the Kawila, uh, Kawula Village last night. Is it Kawila? Kawula Village last night. Now we're gonna take a walk on this trail next to the Volcano House to see what else is there because we saw a group of people walking down this trail earlier. Maybe we'll just follow this. So this is called Kupi Na'i Pali, or Waldron's Ledge. And if you head this way, you're going to hit something called the Kuwe Iki Crater. And if you make all rights, you're going to be able to get onto this Holly Mountain Valley Trail that's right below us here. All right, you see my hat? My UV shirt? I'm all ready. You think standing by the ring of a, a volcano crater is dangerous enough? Just wait till you see. I am working down the trail to standing on the volcano lava. Follow me. Same in a minute. You're gonna get tired of hearing me say that. Oh. On the Hali Maumau Trail, as we were walking down. Okay, I'm coming down to you guys. I'm not. I'm not making you take a look at. So, do you remember seeing these things? Yeah. Okay. People think they're metal stakes. Did everybody see that? The purple. If you didn't see it yet, wait do you hear me. I'm like a little kid because it reminds me of the lollipop kids in The Wizard of Oz or Willy Wonka, okay? So basically, those little purple hangers grow all the way up to the Ohelahua. So they start out as little purple hangers and they grow all the way up the trees here. So as we walk down this trail, you're going to hear me because they just, a couple months ago, you didn't see a purple fiddlehead. They're called the new hay ferns. Okay, so we're going to go to the left. Uh, we're two thirds of the way up for those of you who are wondering. Okay, can I yell at The trail is about a little bit over a mile. You just keep on turning right and you will see the bottom of the lava, the cradle right here. Look at that, we almost there. Make sure you bring your head. It's pretty hot here, and you want to make sure you cover it up well, uh, sunscreen, uh, if you don't have a UV show like I do. All right, oh, we're almost there. Thousands of years ago, this is a hot lava. I'm standing right on top of it. Look at my oldest tree. So lava probably already cooled off for hundreds of years. 
the trail is not that easy to walk down, as you can see, but it's totally worth it. And I have to tell you that don't wait till you're too old or you're too sick to travel. Enjoying travel while you are young. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. All this uh, beautiful red flower we see around the, the equator and along the rim. Those are the flower for recovered flower. It's called Ohaini Lahua. <laughs> I might pronounce it wrong. Uh, how does it look? I just finished this tower right here. You know, this work makes you really feel small, humble. A lot of time we're so busy with our work, daily day out, and before you go to bed, you don't even know what's happening whole day. What, what have you done? What have you do? Well, take my advice. Travel, spend time with your family, see the world. The world is such a big place to see. You guys must heard about what's come down must go up, right? Just be aware when you walk down to the crater, you know you're gonna go up. One mile straight up, it's not that easy. You gotta have a practice. You gotta have a strong cap and legs to support you. you must bring water, it does get hot. Whew. And take a break as needed. Well, luckily we had a big lunch at the Volcano House. Otherwise, the beef jerky is not gonna hold. <laughs> And plus that you guys must have a comfortable shoes, hiking shoes. <laughs> I'm trying to be cute, so I will my show you. My white crops. Well, it is so comfortable, but <laughs> it is not the hiking shoes. <sighs> Let's go. Almost there. Erupts around 1490s, and since then, this one's pretty pretty calm. The other one is not behave so well. That one just erupts earlier this year, so we're not allowed to go up there. But the, this height is totally worth it. Coming up is a bitch. Sorry, I'm ruining your photo. It's all right. All right, guys, we come to the final finale of the day. We're going to go to the lava loop, lava tube, which is uh, really hard to find parking. Either you come here really early or you turn around, go park at an overlook and walk maybe 0 0.5 mile and you get to the lava loop. Let's go. We finally made it to the end of the day, the lava tube. So when the volcano lava stop it craps, they leave a big deep gap and hole and become a cave. That's where lava tube come from. <sighs> Let's check it out. Hi guys, we finally made it to the lava too. 
it is very slippery in there, so make sure you wear the comfortable shoes, non-slip shoes. Let's go check it out. Wow, looking down there, it is pretty wet. Look at this. This is only in Hawaii here. You can see the lava tube like this. We're gonna go in here, it's really wet and dark. Make sure you be careful. Make sure you know where you're going. It is an uh, uneven path and kind of slippery. <laughs> Hello! You can hear the echo. If you're scared of dark, don't come in here because it's pretty dark. You can see the end of it. I don't know where else in the world have a lava tube like this. Leave the comment below if you know there's somewhere I have a lava tube similar to this in Kona. Okay. And guys, make sure you subscribe my channel and then hit that like button while you guys are watching my channel. With this, I really think that I should have a Discovery Channel show. I think I deserve one, don't you think guys? I'm doing all the hiking, snorkeling, go to dangerous places, right? Okay. All right, we come to the end of the lava tube. <laughs> now you can share some lights now. What do you think about it? It's not that far, um, and I think it's totally worth it. It's can you believe it? Lava went through this tube right here. Let's go up there. Well, there's a lot of area they blocked off. Obviously for a reason. They don't want you going there. But this is amazing. That's the lava tube to you guys. That's the final finale of our Volcano National Park. After the lava tube, you certainly can drive down to the ocean side. The park ranger was telling us that the drive is better on, than the uh, Pacific Highway, which uh, myself living on the peninsula of San Francisco for 18 years. It is a beautiful drive. But right now it's getting pretty late, it's about 3 o'clock. And we live on the other side of the island. We still need to do a two hour drive back. And plus that we probably want to stop by somewhere for more coffee. Out. Of course, right? More coffee or beer or taco, fish taco perhaps. So I'm not gonna drive down there. That's the Vicino National Park to you guys. Make sure you, the tips I give it to you, make sure you get here early, pack your hat, UV shirts, sunscreen, lots of water, hydrate it. Don't be afraid, there's tons of bathroom everywhere. And their bathroom are very clean actually. I'm very surprised. And plan your lunch at the Volcano House. They do have a really good burger and they have a full bar too if you want to. And make sure you take the walk down to the equator. That's about two hour walk. So plan your day well. And ended up at the Lava 2. Well, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. See you guys next time. Before we end this trip, I do want to give a shout out to my Toro guy. Guys, if you don't know, uh, there is an app called Toro. 
and you every city you go to you can reserve the car and you can arrange pick up drop up at any kind of spot i travel a lot i love to use toro so sponsor me toro and i got a i got lucky because my car guy at big island alfred is super nice once you book the trips he sends you all the itinerary with all the way to eat where to go he pretty much helped me put this agenda together without any research myself so shout out to alfred thank you and the, his car is super clean super easy to drive gas mileage is awesome well thanks and it, it helps the color is so bright you can always find a car in the parking lot no matter where you park